Hello everybody, Storm here, and welcome to a new series where we're going to be playing in Transport Fever 2, which just released last month, and I have spent the last few weeks putting together a map for us to play in this game, because I did enjoy the previous Transport Fever, I have a couple of series on that on my channel, and I wanted to go ahead and jump into Transport Fever 2. So that is what we're going to be doing today, starting up a this new series in Transport Fever 2. Two, which features some improvements and changes over the previous game. Uh, one thing that I have found is that it tends to be a bit harder to get started than I'm previously used to. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I won't run myself bankrupt right out of the gate. Um, and there's, you know, there's some changes to the way industry works and things like that. So, you know, we'll be kind of going through it. So this is the map that I have put together. There's this large area of water here in the southeastern corner. We have this kind of area over here with a bit of a mountain range in the southwestern corner. This is kind of a north-south map is the way I'm, I'm viewing it because this is kind of the, the height map that I put together. This is all based on real world height map data, but I don't know where it's from. Um, because I grabbed a bunch of interesting height maps and used Photoshop to blend them all together. <clears throat> so this is from all over the world, all kind of blended into a single map here to create this kind of fictional map. Um, and we have these kind of ridge mountains here. I think they're from somewhere in the Appalachians. Um, this kind of goes to the open plains area. And then there's this uh, bit of a, a ridge here to a plateau along the eastern edge of the map here with a bit of a mountain range up here in the north. And then we have this area here, which is actual, I think it says this is a crater from Mars if I recall correctly, that I grabbed a uh, height map for and brought it in here. So it adds a, a little bit of an interesting geographical element to this kind of plains area on the, you know, west central and northwest area of the map. Most of the city names are again based on fictional cities. A lot of them from the Final Fantasy series, but um, many others from other areas. So we'll be kind of seeing those. Now there were a couple of requested names for cities uh, that I did put in here. Uh, one was Som, which is going to be here in the valley between these mountain ridges on the river. It kind of runs through the middle. Another one was for Lagos, which is a, an actual real-world city in Nigeria. So I went ahead and also added uh, Ikorodu and Leki, which I think are some other cities in that same area in Nigeria, to kind of create this, what I'm calling is our capital city region. So the, the hope would be that all three of these towns eventually kind of merge into one large industrial area not industrial urban urban area um as you know they grow so that's kind of the hope there all right so one thing you may notice um is that there is a lot of industry on this map i went i made sure that we got a lot of industries because one of the things that I want to do and kind of focus on in this game is freight. Because in my previous Transport Fever 1 series, I worked primarily with passengers. And we're still going to be doing passengers, obviously, because, you know, that, that's pretty effective money. Um, I want to focus a lot more on freight and freight distribution in this particular series. So that's kind of the hope here. So, we're going to need to go ahead and pick a place to get started, and then get started. We do have a lot of mods installed. Um, 
I don't have a full mods list at the moment. Basically, I hopped on the workshop uh, and downloaded every single locomotive and wagon that looked interesting to me. So, I don't even really know how many mods there are. There's a lot. Already. Because people are already, you know, adding mods into this game like crazy, which I love. It's one of the reasons why I really like this. This particular series is because... Of the mods, I really do enjoy games that have a, you know, an active modding scene. So, that's what we're going to go ahead and do here. Now, I've already kind of looked through this map. Um, now, some of this industry I did kind of place by hand, but a lot of it is just I used the random generator in the map editor to plop a lot of this industry in here. So, I really don't have a good sense of where everything is, so I'm going to have to kind of figure everything out as we go. And, um... Just kind of looking around, and I think I already see some options here. And actually, it's one of the reasons why I, I haven't thrown this map on the workshop yet. Um, it looks like it's fairly simple, because you can actually do it from within the game. Um, and I do plan to do it if this map looks like it's going to work out. Um, because I haven't really play tested this much at all. You know, I've, you know, made sure that it loaded and, you know, I ran, a, you know, a little bit just to kind of familiarize myself with the interface, but I haven't really played a lot on this map, so I don't know how balanced or effective it's going to be. So hopefully we won't run into too many, too much trouble. Um, but what I did do is I enabled the sandbox mode option. Now, that does allow me to do things like modify my money. But I'm not going to do that. Um, particularly what it allows me to do is to place industries. So I, I will be able to delete, move, replace industries as needed. And I have to you know kind of keep a mental record of that so that I can actually make edits to the map. Um to make it more playable if needed. And we can also build new towns if we want. Which I may actually do because if an area becomes an intense hub of activity, it would make sense that a town may necessarily kind of grow up in that area. So, you know, it might get to a point where I decide, hey, it might be an interesting idea to go ahead and put a town in this particular spot. And then we can do that. All right, so what I was looking at here, as far as our first potential option to get out of the gate and get started, is to actually start with some freight. Because, as I said, that's what I want to kind of focus on here um, in this particular series. And what I see here is we have an oil well here out here by Yulmore. And then we have an oil refinery outside of the capital and we have a fuel refinery here outside of Ilium so we could run a freight line that connects this oil well to this fuel refinery to this oil refinery so what we would do is we would bring the the crude oil to get the refined oil then bring the refined oil here and then bring that fuel back here because Yulmore actually requ is requesting fuel. Now one thing I also did is I made sure that this particular grouping of towns here are requesting every single good in the game. So, Ikorodu is requesting fuel. So, if we could bring the fuel here as well. Hmm. The thing is, is that when we're coming in this direction, when we're coming in this direction, we're going to be full of crude oil, so we're not really going to be able to pick up the fuel from there not with this train anyway but let's at least get it going so that we can make some money from it 
So let's go ahead and get our first. Well, actually, one of the first things I want to do is borrow up to the maximum loan of $10 million and get to work here. So we're going to be doing... Freight. That's probably not something we're going to do just yet. Oh, maybe. But it's a little too modern looking for where we're at, because we're starting in 1850. All right, cargo station. I think we're going to do a cargo terminus station. And we only are going to need a single track for this particular station at the moment. One of the really nice things about this game, over Transport Fever 1, is that the stations are modular, which means upgrading the stations is a lot more interesting. Let's see, where can I potentially put... The one issue is, is that one of the things I really did like doing was the curved stations. But it doesn't look like I've seen a curved station mod yet that adds curved components. It may not be possible in this system. I don't know. I think that'll do. Let's drop it in. Okay, now, we are going to be having a train come back here loaded with fuel, hopefully. So we're going to need to then deliver that fuel into Yulmar. And so I'm going to need to figure out where the fuel is going to be delivered. The fuel is going to be delivered here. All right. So one other thing I'm going to need is a truck station for cargo. Probably want to get it close enough to the city. Well, close as I can get to the city with the train station still in catchment. Oh man, you can actually get it all the way down to here. The train station still in catchment. That's interesting. So this is a little bit too far away. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop that truck stop there. Some of that is in catchment, but no. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in No, no, we, we need this. A truck unload stop for unloading cargo. Some of this catchmenting is weird. Interestingly, if we put it over, if we put it here. It covers everything we need. All right, fine. All right, so now we're gonna need a station over here by this. And I'm keeping these at 160 meters because I can always make them longer if and when I need them. All right, this was gonna be too tracked. Actually, I'm going to put this single tracked. Because the train that's coming through here just needs to bypass it. Hmm.
See, I could do this. And just connect this station directly there. Um, so that's going to come up here. Yeah, actually, let's give this a try, because if you can see that there are connections that do form, so you can actually attach this cargo station directly to the industry, and it will pick up. Let's try it. All right, and then, and then what we can do, we can here, we can configure, and we can put in the second line, but with no no cargo terminal over here because we don't need one. Because what we're gonna do is, you know, on our way through, um, we're gonna be bringing the crude and we're just gonna go ahead and drive right past here and bring the crude here, right? Yes. There's a lot of trees out here. All right, now this one only needs a single track at the moment. But I can put this here, right? So I may want to use this for some more things. Okay, let's drop that in there. Because I see down here we have another oil well. Okay. So I could bring oil from here up to here and drop there to increase its output. We'll have to see. Alright, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a road that runs along here. to connect and then this road is going to have to connect to that and that should be in catchment and it is excellent all right now we just need to lay some track Let's just, let's just say 2.3 million. Really? So we, it's going to be creating some long viaducts here. One point nine million. No, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. Okay. I can go with some slower track to avoid. Can I keep this level? Oh no. No, that's spinning an arm and a leg. All right. Throwing some some bridge in there actually makes it cheaper. That's really interesting. And actually, the more level we can make this, the better. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Now that's getting a bit ridiculous. Okay. Okay, 
Well, that gets us down to the ground. right direction. Right, let's keep it straight. Let's keep it level. Well, as level as possible here. Okay. Because the faster we can run our trains, the better. Now wants to do a tunnel? No, we're not doing a tunnel. Yeah, see a lot of things here are a lot more expensive than they were before, so we're going to have to roller coaster this track a little bit. All right, I don't know if I want to put in a second track cuz I think we're only going to be having a single train in here for now. We're we'll having a single train in here for now. Probably gonna have to let it level crossing there. Let's see, how do I wanna route this? We're probably gonna wanna follow the tree line here a little bit. Maybe head into the forest. A tad. to get over that road there too much slope okay we got too high on that hill okay I kind of hate to do it but I'm going to have to back that up a little bit No, I need I need tracks. Okay, and it might have the tunnel. Oof! Wow, that little stretch of tunnel is almost a million. Oh, I got another little tunnel over here. All right, go ahead and do it. It has to be done. Gonna have to be done. All right. There we are. What I can probably do for now, because there are not insignificant maintenance costs, is actually remove that track for now. It's not necessary at this point to have that there. Alright, so now we're going to need a train depot here. Somewhere. Somewhere flattish.
rapier could work. Alright, there we are. Depot. Alright, let's create the... Oh, we're going to need another... We're going to need a road depot as well. Road depot. I'm going to slide that in across the street. From there. Okay. And we need some lines. Alright, so we have a new line here. We'll do the train one first. Uh, I guess we're going to call this... The... Um, you'll more fuel, if I'm even spelling that right. Oh, and make sure that this is uh, flagged TF for train freight, so that it organizes properly, and I know what it, I know what it's for. I'm not. Sh I don't think I'm going to color code my lines in this series like I did in the last series. It just, it just didn't prove really all that necessary. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we don't. We don't want to stop there. We want to go from Yulemore first. Oh, we don't know that e, e, Yulemore. Okay. So we go there, and then we bring them here, and then we bring that stuff back there, and then it returns here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to tell is, I'm going to say, wait till full and wait for one minute at any stop. Wait till full. Okay. So what it should do is it should deliver the crude and then wait there for a little bit while this turns the crude into refined oil so that I actually will bring stuff back there, deliver, then wait for a minute while it fills up. All right. And then we're going to need a line here. From there to there, this is going to be a road freight line, RF. Um, fuel more fuel. Just call it the same. This is the whole delivery system. Okay, let's go ahead and get some vehicles. All right, so. We're going to need a cargo vehicle. These are all basically the same. They carry the same capacity. They have the same horsepower. They have the same speed. I'm um, just going to go with the American horse-drawn carriage. We're going to go ahead and get... One, two, three, four of them. Assign them there. There we go. It's an odd noise. All right. Let's go ahead and buy a train. So, we want a steam locomotive because we don't have any electric or diesels yet. All right. We need something that can move at least 50, well, good speed, good horsepower. That's expensive. It's fast, has a lot of power. Pretty decent tractive effort. Crew type freight? No, we need speed. I'm thinking we're going to go with the Crampton. I'm going to go ahead and splurge a bit. The faster we can turn this stuff around, the better. 272 horsepower. See, that thing's even more expensive than the Crampton. Well, because it's faster and it has more torque. Okay. Or tractive effort. That's what they call it here. 
Baldwin, 25 miles an hour with 95 horsepower. Russian Class 5 Type 1 does 28 miles an hour. Nah, I need something that's a bit more zippy than that. Alright. Add that. Cargo wagons. We're going to have to go with this one. Carries five capacity. So we got what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Let's buy it. 2.6 million. Done. And go ahead and put that on there. Done. All right. And let's repay as much loan as we can. And let's go ahead and watch this thing move. We're going to unpause it for the first time. Ooh. The game does kind of chuck a little bit when you first unpause it as it starts up. All right. Uh, given that we only have a single uh, train on this particular track. We don't need any signaling just yet. I should be able to follow it. Yeah, there you go. There it is, 26 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour, 28. I can even ride on board. And in this game, you can actually move the camera around when you're on board. So there's those mountain ridges over there. So we got an auto save. There's the forest. our locomotive. All right. So, I think this is good for our first episode. We got our first train line set up and we got our first train on here. So, we'll go ahead and end this episode here and hopefully this train line will produce some profit. We can start working on some new projects for next episode. So, for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.